Hello everyone, it's great to see you here ready for our Move With Jack session. Now today's session doesn't have a warm-up, we're going straight into it and it is an ab blast session. There's a bit of history with this because I used to do a very similar session in the lead up to the 2012 Olympics when I was 20 years old and just starting in professional sport. So I hope you enjoy this one. Our first exercise will be a pike hold, I'll show you how it looks. We'll be here on our bum, slightly extended, and we're just gonna hold this position. Challenge these abs to contract and hold rather than always moving up and down like a lot of our other exercises. We'll be working for 30 seconds, resting for 30 seconds. So, let's get ready. We're gonna start with the pike hold, and that will start in 10 seconds. If you can't go for the whole 30 seconds, that's fine, of course it's fine. But we're gonna try and go for as long as we can. Ready? Let's go, let's hold. On this one, really key to keep breathing. Don't go all tense. Performance doesn't come from being tense and stressed. It comes from being relaxed and free and being ready and open. So let's stay free now. Let's stay open. Keep going, last 10 seconds. Hopefully you're still going with us. Really good, three, two, one. Rest. Good, and rest. Our next exercise is a normal sit-up. Nothing too complex, and you've got 30 seconds of rest now, so it's not too challenging just yet. But remember, with your sit-ups, to stay in that mid-range, shoulder blades off the ground, diagonally looking up, and just staying in this range. I love to keep those muscles engaged the whole time, keep challenging them, rather than letting them switch off at each end. So we're going in three, two, one, Let's go. The 30 seconds now, so you might want to pace it, or you might want to go a million miles an hour and really challenge yourself. That's great as well. Remember where you're looking, keeping that head up. Really good, we're into the last five seconds. Good, and rest. We're now gonna go into a plank with a knee crossover. So we all know the plank exercise. We're gonna stay in this position here, but we're gonna have our knees come across and try and touch the other elbow. Make sure those hands stay underneath the shoulders. Squeeze those glutes to hold that position and you will be great. This is just challenging those abs by crossing them over, slightly different to the normal exercises. Let's go. Too busy talking, Jack, we nearly missed the start. Really good. You know me well now. If you've seen any of my talks as well, you'll know how much I love effort. So I don't mind if you get halfway and this is a bit too much for you and you have a little break. Just keep that effort high. Good, and rest. Our next exercise is just a sit-up with a twist. So, like a normal sit-up, we will come up, but we're going to twist and let our elbow come past the knee. And we're just challenging those muscles again to work in a slightly different way, to just up and down. So let's get ready. Ooh. We're going in a sec. Let's get ready. Let's, Let's go. go. So I'm going to twist at the top. Let your head follow the hands so that you get that full rotation of the torso. But we're still going to be looking up and keeping our spine in a nice neutral position. Last 10 seconds. Last five. Rest. And rest. Really good. We're now into an exercise that most people find incredibly difficult because it is incredibly difficult and it is the leg lower. So straight legs, extend out and bring it back up. If you struggle with doing just the straight legs, then make sure you bend your knees because if we change the length of the lever, life becomes a lot easier. Let's keep the effort high. Let's think about those washboard abs we're about to get. Let's go. 
Really good. Some of you might laugh here at home. You might notice on this one where your back extends, there might be some, uh, some noises where someone might say to you, oh, excuse you. I'm sure a few of you are having a good chuckle now. Two, one, good. Really good. We're now going up into a sit-up with a reach. So like the sit-up with a twist, but instead of twisting at the top, we're going to extend. So we're going to sit up and extend above the head. We're going in 15 seconds, one, five. Breathe, enjoy the recovery, relax. Just relax as best you can. We're going in five. Two, one, sit up with a reach, let's go. The key with a lot of exercise is rhythm. So try and just stay in the same rhythm the whole way through. It'll make life a lot easier rather than all this broken rhythm. Let's keep going. Really good. Good, and rest. Oh, we're now into rows. So rows, I'm gonna turn around just for a different view for you, slightly. Rows, oh, we're on our bum. We're gonna extend our legs out, lean back, crunch back together, like we were on a rowing boat. And we've got 10 seconds till we go. If you struggle with this exercise, make sure you put your elbows, forearms, hands down, just to give you a little bit more foundational support. Let's go. Let's go. So extend out, crunch together. Really good. Keep working. You'll feel this in your hip flexors as well. Feel the bed and go with it anyway. 30 seconds for abs is quite a long time. Just keep working. Oh, I needed the rest there. Really good. So we're now into heel touches. So we're going to put our feet together. We're going to put them as close to our bum as we can. We're going to lift our shoulder blades off the floor and we're going to touch our heels. The key to this is keeping the shoulder blades off the floor. If they are on the floor, then we're not going to get much movement out of those abs. Therefore, it doesn't really work. So let's get ready. Let's go. Let's go. Just get a nice rhythm on this. These are lots of mini crunches. Shoulder blades off the floor, looking diagonally up, so not to strain the neck. And we're gonna keep working. As I said, think about those washboard abs, those cheese grater abs. Let's go. Really good. Two, one, rest. and rest. Two more exercises. The next one is raised heel touches. So we're gonna lift our legs into a 90 degree angle and we're gonna sit up and reach our heels. So I'm here, keeping my knees up, keeping my feet up. I'm gonna reach up and touch my heels. The key to this is keeping, obviously your shoulder blades off the ground, like a lot of our exercises that I talk about with abs, but keeping those knees and those feet at the same angle the whole time. Don't let them drop. Let's get ready. Let's go. Let's go. Really good, keep working. This is really tough. Try and keep those shoulder blades off the ground. Don't strain the neck. It's really easy to strike the neck on this one. So keep looking diagonally up. Good, last 10, let's go. Whoa. I am feeling it now and there is one final exercise and we're staying in the heel touch family. So we've done normal heel touches, we've done raised heel touches. Now we're going to do side heel touches. So those feet are together. They're close to our bum. Our shoulder blades are off the ground again and we're gonna wiggle side to side and touch those abs. So we're just challenging the abs to move in a slightly different way again, like some of the exercises today. And it should make all the difference and get a good burn. Last one, let's go. Let's go.
Really good. Come on. Work through this last one. Shoulder blades have to stay off the ground. Looking diagonally up so not to strain our neck. Let's keep working. If those feet aren't together, then we don't get as big a range as we could. So get them together. Come on, we're coming into the last five. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Oh, and done. Really good session. That's the kind of session that you wake up tomorrow, try and sit up out of bed and go, oh, I did that move with Jack's session. I wish I hadn't done that but I'm really pleased that you did. And hopefully I'll see you soon.